This video is not going to be a full-fledged tutorial for MuseScore 4. I'm just going to demonstrate the graphic user interface so you can decide if you like it or not. I'm going to start off with the audio mixer. If you go to where these dots are and you click on it, you can see view. You can turn on and off any of the buttons and knobs that you see in the mixer. Right now, I just enabled the faders. But it's kind of cool. You don't have to have the faders enabled. And you can adjust the volume by adjusting you know, the numbers right here. Like this says 12, but you can make it negative 4. Pretty easy. If you look where it says contrabass, grand piano, and then this says Muse score basic, in order to get the sound samples of the new Muse score 4, you have to download them. They don't install automatically. If you notice, all, all these are from the new sound library. What you have to do on Windows is go to where this little icon is here in the taskbar then you click this little icon and now you can see where it says home sound effects and that's how you download the effects as well as the sound library you can see i got these checked off and i can scroll one interesting feature of muse score is if i go to where it says parts you can select piano synthesizer bass or you could select all I only want to open the piano right now, so I'll open the selection. It's really super huge, but we can scale it down. If you notice, it's vertical as opposed to being horizontal. I don't really mind, but I wish I did have the option to view it horizontally. If we look at the main composition, that is still horizontal. The individual instruments, if you select to bring them you know, out in this composition will always be horizontal. I can select the base as well, open selected. And once again, it's super huge, but we can shrink that. I like the ability to tab through the different instruments as well as the main musical composition. It's a really super handy feature to have. You can easily go to the fifth measure or the 18th measure, whatever you want to do. It's really easy to navigate your whole composition or just individual instruments. I'm on the main composition. If I click on piano, I want people to realize that you can enable the bass. I can also enable the synthesizer so you can see all the different instruments, but it's basically the same as this, other than one's horizontal and one's vertical. Another thing that I really like about MuseScore is you do have different voices. For example, if I wanted to add whole notes, I have to select this pencil, then I have to go over to whole notes. And if I wanted to add like a, a whole note to here, for example, or a whole note in, into here, watch what'll happen it cancels out all of the quarter notes. Let me hit control Z. If I select voice number two, you can see that it left the other quarter notes as well as leaving the whole note. I like the fact that MuseScore does that. I'm not saying that other music composing software doesn't have this feature. I just think it's really nice for a free software program to allow you to have different voices. What I want to look at right now is the export feature. And if we go to file and we go down to export, as you can tell, you have the music score and you could export that as a PDF file or you could export all the different music instruments. Now, if we enable all of these and I go to wave file, as you can tell, each selected part will be exported as a separate audio file. That is really super handy to have them all as separate audio tracks because you can bring it into your digital audio workstation and really manipulate each track individually. It's much better than having the 
export have all the different instruments all on just one track. MuseScore has a pretty interesting feature. They call it the navigation bar. It's super useful if you have a long composition. You can disable it by turning off the navigation bar. I like to have it enabled myself. As you folks can tell, you have all the tools you need to compose music for a full orchestra. I want to end this video by stating just because MuseScore is free, it doesn't mean it's not a powerful program for music composing. I will have more MuseScore video tutorials in the future.